Let's talk about how we can do transcription jobs. I will also share with you 10 different companies on where you can apply as a transcriber or transcriptionist. And I will also share some common rules that we need to observe when it comes to transcribing audio. And without further ado, let's start this video. Hi everyone, this is Russell again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. Click mo na rin yung notification bell for you to be updated kapag mag-upload tayo ng bagong videos. So yun nga guys, pag-usapan natin ngayon, paano ba nag-work yung mga transcription jobs? Paano ba mag-transcribe ng audios into text? So yung magiging flow ng video natin, first, of course, we will define what is a transcription or a transcriptionist. And then I will also share the skills that you need to have in order to be a transcriptionist. We will also talk about the common rules that are usually being observed by transcriptionists. And at the very last part of the video, I will be sharing with you 10 different companies from where you can apply as a transcriptionist. So please stay with me until the end of this video para may share ko sa inyo lahat ng companies for transcription na pwede nyong applyan. So first, ano ba yung transcription or what is the nature of the job of being a transcriptionist? So guys, as a transcriptionist or a transcriber, you will be given short chunks of audios or videos. So you will listen to those audios and you need to convert those into text. So basically, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is makinig sa audio or dun sa video na yun, tapos i-convert mo lang siya into text. As easy as that. Very ideal to for newbies that would like to work at home or for those who are currently looking for non-voice jobs at home. So what are the skills that you need to have to be a transcriptionist? Of course, first you need to be fluent in English. And since this is a data entry job or a typing job, you need to have an excellent typing skill. So not necessarily na kailangan mong napakabilis mag-type, but just to give you a heads up that the faster that you type, it would be an advantage kasi you will be able to get more projects. Also, since we will be given short chunks of audios and videos, we need to have excellent listening skills. Sometimes may maasain sa atin na audios that would contain different accent or very challenging accent. So medyo may hirapan tayo to transcribe that. So we need to have great listening skills and we also need to be attentive to details. Kasi as a transcriptionist, one important metric that they're looking for is accuracy. So kaya dapat accurate tayo and attentive tayo to details. We need to have excellent skills when it comes to grammar, spelling, and punctuations. So that is very important, guys. And also we need to have proofreading skills. So those are the skills that you need to have to be an effective transcriptionist. So what are the common rules na kailangan observe as a transcriptionist? So guys, atong common rules na i-share ko sa inyo, it doesn't apply to all of the transcription companies. It really depends sa guidelines nila. Some of these rules might work with a specific company, but some of this might not work with a company, with a transcription company. So I'm just sharing this. These are the common rules. Pero don't just base it dito sa mga ishishare ko sa inyo. Kasi depende pa rin yan dun sa mismong transcription company na a nyo. So first rule is removing speech errors, false starts, stutters, repetitions, and filler words. So say for example, yung mga um, eh, yung mga ganon. And at the same time, yung mga inuulit-ulit nila na words, so yung na-stutter sila. So lahat ng mga yun usually, for most of the transcription companies, Nire-remove nila yun when transcribing audios or videos. And then, expressions are being kept. Say for example, oh my god, yung mga ganun. They are not omitting that when transcribing audios into text. Ini-include pa rin nila yun dun sa transcribed text nila. But again, it depends on the company that you're applying for. Most of the transcription companies, they opt to remove or to avoid using slang words. Like the use of gotcha. Instead of using gotcha, you will need to transcribe that as got you and then gonna you will need to transcribe it into going to so avoid using slang words we need to transcribe it in the normal form of a text so when it comes to the word okay don't spell it out as o and k we need to spell it as o k a y in addition to that all of the transcription companies 
use timestamps. So, ito yung mga timestamps in between brackets. So, every time na may change of speaker, some of the transcription would require for you to add the timestamp. And then another one is that transcription companies use markings for inaudible sounds, unintelligible sounds, or foreign languages. So most of the time, they include nila yan din sa bracket at the same time with timestamp, and they will add the tagging like inaudible, foreign languages. So depending sa guideline ng no company. One important thing as a transcriber or transcriptionist is to not paraphrase a specific speech. So, yung mga speech na tinatranscribe natin, we're not allowed to change the words. So, we need to transcribe the words as it is and we do not paraphrase any speech. And when it comes to correcting grammatical errors, some of the transcription companies require transcriptionists to correct grammatical error. Pero merong mga companies din na hindi nila inaalaw yung pag-correct ng grammatical error, you need to include how exactly was it said dun sa mismong speaker. So, magdadepende pa rin yan again dun sa company na in mo. And then of course, we need to distinguish different speakers from each other. So, as a transcriptionist, you need to assign speaker labels to each of the speakers. If there are names assigned to those speakers, use their names. Or if there are no names, use a specific designation like speaker 1, speaker 2. So depending on the rules of the guidelines of the specific company. It's also usual for transcription jobs to include sound events. Yan yung mga naka-incorporate in between brackets. Say for example, a speaker laughs. So you need to include it in bracket or parenthesis depending dun sa rule ng company. And then include laughs. It also applies to background noises or background music. Say for example, dramatical music incorporated in between brackets. So yung mga ganong factor. And also it's very important then as a transcriptionist to observe correct spelling. So mga highlight sa correct spelling na to is using proper nouns or specific nouns. Say for example, a specific name of a person, name of a company, or anything that is specific. If you are unsure about the spelling of it, what you need to do is to research or to look for it in Google. Make sure that you do your research if you're unsure about a specific spelling. So yun yung mga common rules and aside from that, there are a lot more rules when it comes to numbers, measurements, punctuations, and many more. So that would depend on the style guideline or the guideline that is being followed with a specific company. So guys, I just share this specific rules just to share with you the usual rules that you need to observe as a transcriptionist. Or para maging familiar din kayo, ano ba yung nature ng job or ano ba yung detailed na ginagawa ng mga transcriptionist. Pero guys, don't base it on this video. Don't base it on the things that I shared with you right now kasi at the end of the day, the guidelines that you need to follow depends on the company that you will be working with. So, dun nyo siya i-base sa guidelines ng specific company na yun. So, speaking of companies, now I will be sharing with you 10 different companies, transcription companies, all of these are legit. So, you can choose to which company na gusto nyo mag-apply. Guys, I will also be posting all the links dyan sa description box. Check nyo na lang yan. And just to share with you, I also have a playlist sa aking channel when it comes to transcription jobs. So you might want to check that as well to check other transcription jobs. So guys, here are the companies that I'd like to share. The first one is QA World. Yung website nila is qa-world.com. We also have Transcribe Me. Website is transcribeme.com. You can also try Rev. Website is rev.com. We also have GoTranscript. Their website specifically for job application is gotranscript.com slash transcription dash jobs. You can also try applying with Screeby. Their website is screeby.com. You can also try Way With Words. Their website is waywithwordsjobs.com. And then we also have Verbaling. You can visit verbaling.com. And of course, we have Appen. You can also visit their website which is appen.com. We also have Crowdsurf. You can apply at their website which is crowdsurfwork.com. 
And the last website that I'd like to share is Verbit. So you can also visit their website which is verbit.ai. So yan lahat ng companies na gusto kong i-share when it comes to being a transcriptionist. You can choose which company you'd like to apply for. So guys, how much you can earn as a transcriptionist ba? So as a transcriptionist, per audio hour, you can earn up to $15. Depende yan sa company na apply nyo. Pero usually, it would range from $10 to $15 per audio hour. So when we say audio hour, guys, hindi yan yung one hour kang nag-work. So that means, total of one hour of audio file na na-convert mo. Usually, yung payment nila, most of the companies are through PayPal. So, you need to have your PayPal account set up. So, yun lang naman guys yung mga tips and tricks na gusto kong i-share when it comes to being a transcriptionist. And those are also the websites that I'd like to share with you to apply as a transcriptionist. And if you have questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'll make sure to get back to it as soon as possible. And guys, please don't forget to share this sa mga friends nyo, sa mga member ng family nyo na looking then for any home-based job that they can earn from home. So, para hindi lang kayo yung may alam ng transcription jobs, they can also try to apply and earn while staying at home. And also guys, please don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. And kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell para maging updated ka sa ating next videos. So that will be our video for today guys. Thank you so much for watching up until this point in our video. I will see you again in our next video. Bye guys!